There are nearly 9,400 soldiers buried in the Normandy American Cemetery, each with a unique story. One man who is buried there lied about his age in order to fight for our country. Ten on your sides, Maria Elena Belores shares his story, new at 530. Well, Stephanie, imagine being 16 years old and lying about your age so that you could serve in the military. On top of that, imagine having a baby and only getting to see her one time before leaving for the war. That was one of the stories we learned about when we visited the Normandy American Cemetery last year. It stuck with us, so we traveled to Pennsylvania to learn more. Here's a World War II medal. Well, I remember being very, very small and asking where my daddy was. It's a natural question for any child. One of his buddies gave me these, 506, that was their unit. And one that Donna Allen started asking when she was nine years old. I treasure these things. Because I had never seen a picture. What I'm told is that my grandmother had destroyed letters that he had written to my mom. She had only met him once when she was a baby. All she knew is that he died in the war. I was so frustrated. I said, why won't you talk about him? Is he in prison? I did ask them that. And my stepfather said, your father was a real hero and your mother needs to talk to you about him. Wow. She never did, not much. No, she just didn't. But at least I knew he wasn't in prison then. I knew he was a real, you know, real hero. Finally, when she was 48, that shroud of secrecy lifted, thanks to the help of one of her sons. So he came back the next day with the article that said, when my dad was wounded, and then he kept going on in the microfilm. He found the article when my dad had died, and he brought me those articles. I was off and running. She learned her father, Roy Tallhelm, was a paratrooper in the 101st Airborne Division. He was only 16 when he enlisted, lying about his age in order to fight. He died a few days after D-Day at the age of 17, making him the youngest soldier buried in Normandy. Donna began a journey to uncover all she could about her father. Years of research and joining a group called the American World War II Orphans Network led her to this photo. It was stunning. I mean, it was like, you know, the proverbial needle in the haystack? That was, that was my needle in the haystack. As those needles continued to multiply, Donna learned her father had been buried three different times. He was buried the first time right at the end of this road. First in a farmer's field, then near a chateau that was turned into a field hospital, and finally in the Normandy American Cemetery. Her first visit to Normandy was in 1996, a moment she can barely put into words. He only saw me once and I was a baby. And it took all those years for me to go there and reconnect in that way. Of course, it wasn't something that you can reach out and touch, but your soul does. Your soul does that. Her first steps inside the cemetery were surreal. It's like hallowed ground and you become part of that hallowed ground. It was the closest she had been to her father since she was a baby, a moment forever ingrained in her memory. A photo captured that sacred reunion with first words spoken from daughter to father. I had a few things to say, like, hi, Daddy, I'm here for the first time. Donna has returned to the Normandy American Cemetery three times since that first trip, each with its own unique and special memories. But no matter the circumstance or the pomp surrounding anniversary years, the impact remains the same. I mean, this is um, just staggering, incredibly staggering that these people are buried here and they gave their lives for us and people need to be appreciative. Donna continues to honor her father's legacy. This is the Medal of Carentan. And as a retired teacher, she's also passionate about educating future generations, her personal way of honoring her father's immeasurable sacrifice. They need to know that some people didn't get to live a life, so they could, and they need to respect that and carry it through. Ten on your side is proud to honor the 80th anniversary of D-Day, the greatest victory. Be sure to watch our special report Wednesday, June 5th at 6 p.m. on
Fox 43 and 7 p.m. on Wavy TV 10. I'm Maria Elena Baloris, 10 on your side.